Hey what's going on guys, it's the Mike L here and today I'm giving you a tutorial for Blender 2.63 or higher how to make your very own Minecraft rig. So the first thing we're going to need to do is delete the lights and the lamp here so you can just box select with B and delete them. Now we can turn, get rid of object tools with T and change it to ortho view with 5. This will make it so it's easier to navigate around. Now if we select the box and press S to scale it and type 0 0.1 that will make it 1 pixel by 1 pixel by 1 pixel so a 1 pixel cube. Now we're going to texture it but before we texture it we need to put snap on that will make it so it all snaps to the grid as you can see like that it will move to the grid. Now if we drag these little lines over you'll notice that another 3D view pops up we just come down here and change 3D view to UV image editor. Now we will just zoom back into the cube and press tab on it. That will change it to edit mode. You can also do that down here, object mode to edit mode. And then go image, open image, and then locate your skin texture. You'll notice that your skin texture will pop up there and the cube is still white. So to actually see what we're texturing we press N then under the display tab put texture solid on and then you can see now it turns a color now if we go to face selection that one there and select just the front face we can move these little points box select it and grab it and move it up here and we can just right click on them and drag them out like that You might also need to rotate the meshes around sometimes as well. And then we just continue this for the rest of his head. Alright, now that we've textured the 1x1 one one pixel cube, we're going to need to make a duplicate of it. So if you press Shift D and then press Z so it will move it up on the Z axis, just move it up a bit, like four blender units. Now if you press S and then type 8, that will scale it up to 8 pixels. Now we can get this base cube again, duplicate it up, then scale it by 8 on the X axis, so S8 then scale it 12 on the Z axis then scale it 4 on the Y axis now we simply just go back into edit mode with tab select all the faces and then just move it down to where his body is now you'll notice that um, all the textures don't line up maybe just the front of his head front of his shirt will texture properly so we're going to need to select each of the sides and then just move all the vertices to the right area. Now we have Steve's head and his body. Now we, since we're going to make making the arm next we can just duplicate the body over and then scale it on the x-axis by 0 0.5. Now we press tab and we can move meshes over to there and then once again we can move all the vertices into the right places alright now um, we have his arm but if you notice when we press R to rotate it it rotates from the middle point there we don't want that we want it to rotate from this point here so if we press tab, select all of the meshes, and then press G, and then we can move it down so it lines up there, and then move it back up there. And now if you notice, we rotate it, it rotates exactly so everything matches up exactly, which is very good. Now once again we can just duplicate this over, and then move it like that, and then just move the meshes over to the leg area. So now we have his left side of his body, his head and 
his body. Now if we if we just duplicated the arm over, you notice it doesn't look very good because it's an exact copy. As you can see, the, all the textures are just an exact copy. It needs to be mirrored. So to do this, we'll just move it out a bit so it's easier to see. And also move that one out a bit as well. And we need to mirror it. So if we select the front face, then get these two vertices along this side, or you can do left if you want, then drag it and move it over, like that. So from there, move it over, then move the whole mesh back over to there. And then you'll notice it is mirrored. And then we have to make sure that bit there, so we get that, we have to overlap it and then move it to over this side. So now they line up right. And then for the back, we simply just move it like that. And for the side, we do that. And also for the top, we just overlay it, move it back. And for his hand, overlay it, move it back. Whoops. Now we'll have um, two arms that are mirrored, which is pretty cool. Now we can just, instead of duplicating this and remirroring it, we can just select this one, duplicate it, and move it down, and then move the textures over, like that. So now we have a basic Steve, but we're not done yet. We still have to um, do armatures and a few other stuff. And we can just select all the, all, everything in there pressing A twice, so A A and then press G, grab it and move it up. Now see with the head how it also moves like that, we want it to move from the bottom so we can just grab all the meshes, move it up to the bottom, like so, so everything rotates nicely. Now we're going to actually um, name all of the parts of his body. So if we come over to this tab here, object tab, and change it from cube 1 to head, and then change his body from cube 2 to body, etc, etc. Once you've named all of your parts of the body, just double check over, and if we press Z to go into wireframe mode, and um, we can just get this little cube here, move him just below the guy, and rename that to basis, or default, or just cube, if you want to, cube. Okay, now we're actually going to specify, so when this is rendered out, it actually shows his skin. So we'll just drag this over a bit, so it's easier to see. Come over to this material tab here, and change material to Steve. Now the diffuse, that's what color like his base color is, we'll have to put that to white and then put the specular down to zero because we don't want him shiny unless you want him shiny of course but no one wants that. Then we come over to the textures tab and change text to Steve, change type from none to image or movie and then come down here browse image to be linked steve.png or whatever you called your this thing here and mapping under coordinates change that from generator to UV now what we can do is add armatures so we go into front view with one go shift A add armature single bone now you notice what it didn't add anything but no it did as you can see bone there but we want it to be x-rayed so if we come over to object data panel and change under the display tab to x-ray this will make it so we can see him now we can just simply move it up to the bottom of his body there press tab and we can move this down Whoops. move the head of his thing down so it's only one pixel high and this here is going to be the move bone now if we select the tip of it, 
then press E to extrude it, and then press Z so it moves only on the Z axis. Move it up so it's in line with the top of his head. Now we can extrude it over to the left, and then down. That will make the left arm, and we can just delete that, we don't need that anymore. Extrude it to the right, well, the left, and that's right there, if we were talking that way. And then, since we want these b bones to bend, we go W subdivide on all the bones we want to bend, and we can get this bone here, duplicate it, drag it, move it down, duplicate that, W subdivide, and then extrude this up, delete it, so it's like that. Now if we go back to ed um, pose mode, control tab, or just change edit to pose, You'll notice this here is the move bone, so if you move that, the whole rig will move. Then we can just rotate the body, head, arms, etc, etc. Now we're going to actually parent the actual limbs to the bones. But before we do that, we're going to name it. Name all the bones. So if you just come over to the bones tab, we can change all the names of it. So this one can be move bone, this can be body lower, body upper, head, arm left one, arm left two, arm right one, arm right two. Another thing just before we parent it is we've got to move these tips of his down down to there so it rotates from the same point there. See that? It'll rotate from there instead of the top. Okay, so now that we're going to parent it, we go into edit mode and select both arms and move it out by one blender unit. We do that to all the areas like so, so he's sort of like separated then move his actual limbs out. Now this is what a bit where it gets a tiny bit complicated, so make sure you pay attention. If we select his body, then press tab to go back into edit mode. We need to go control R and this will cut the thing up. And if we type eleven, you notice all the pixels line up nicely. Then we can do this seven and three. So if there's four pixels, we'll cut it by three so all the pixels line up. And here we'll do it three oops by three by eleven. Eleven by three by three. Eleven by three by three. Eleven by three by three. So now all of the parts we want to bend are divided up into cubes like so. But we're not doing that for the head yet. But if you really want to, you can do it. You can instead of going control R and then go seven seven, we can select all the meshes W subdivide. And do that one, two, three times. So all the things line up. Now if we select the bone, or the actual limb, sorry, then shift right click on the bone, then can go control P with automatic weights. Now you notice if we move the bottom or the top, it rotates nicely, and that bends nicely as well. And we simply just do that for the rest of the stuff. And as you're going along, test, make sure everything works properly. So nothing gets stuffed up. Now with the head, we don't want it to deform, so we can just go head and then shift right click, control P to bone. So that will just parent it to the bone. It won't actually do anything like deform it. Now if we go back into front ortho, we can move all the things back like so. Ta-da! Um, yeah, we've got our basic Steve and all of his 
limbs work. So next tutorial, hopefully I'll upload it soon, I will be showing you how to actually like build his face if you want your guy to have like a face really like a 3D face like um, Captain Sparkles or something like that. And tutorials to come, maybe blocks, blocks items, um, rendering, lighting, stuff like that, and physics maybe. So yeah, if you th if you thought this was helpful, like, comment, rate, share, and subscribe, and yeah, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching, see you guys later.